For this video, I'll teach you how to write numbers in scientific notation and vice versa. So, scientific notation is a way of writing very large numbers and very small numbers. So, it is in the form of n times 10 to the power of a. And n here, these are numbers between... Uh, between 1 and 10 then a here is an integer may it be positive or negative so if it is a very large number the integer here is positive and if it is a very small number a here is negative so let's have some examples here letter a write the following to scientific notation number one is 351 so 12 zeros and number two is 0, 0.000 up to 125 so this is a very large number for number one and number two is a very small number so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to locate the first digit aside from zero so in here in example number one the first digit here is three so after locating the first digit you're going to put the decimal point the new decimal point so this should be 3.51 so this will be our n so again n is between 1 and 10 and 3.51 is between 1 and 10 so if we're going to write this one, n here is 3.51, then times 10, then to the power of a. So a here, what we're going to do is we're going to count the number of places from the original decimal point. In this case, this is the original decimal point here to the new decimal point so after 3 so we'll just count how many numbers are there between the two decimal point and that will be the number that we're going to have for a so if we're going to count this one this is 1 2 then there are 12 0 so 2 plus 12 is 14 so you're going to put here 14 so this number we're going to write this one to scientific notation form that will be 3.51 times 10 to the power of 14 then for number two this is the given here so what we're going to do is you're going to locate the first digit aside from zero so in this case the first digit here is one so we're going to have it as 1.25 then times 10 then this is a very small number so you're going to have a negative integer here so this is the new decimal point so what we're going to do is count the how many numbers between these two decimal points so if we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 17 so this is 17 and this is a very small number so you're going to have a negative sign so 1.25 times 10 to the power of negative 17 now if we're going to have the reverse writing numbers from scientific notation to standard form what we're going to do is we'll just reverse the process so in this case for number 1 6.25 times 10 to the power of 8 writing this one to standard form will be so this is positive here so it means that this is a very large number so what we're going to do is we're going to have 6.25 as 6 2 5 and since there are 8 numbers between the two decimal points so we're going to have here 
from 0.25 so we're going to add there are 8 so there, there, there are 2 here so we're going to add 6 more so 2 plus 6 is 8 so we're going to add here 6 zeros 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so this will be the answer so the answer is 625 million. Then for number 2, this is a very small number. So what we're going to do is we're going to write first 0. Unlike this one, we're going to write this one first. So this one is very small number. So we're going to have first 0 point. Then this is negative 5 here. So between this point, decimal point to this point are five numbers so we're going to have here three is one so we're going to add four numbers before three so one two three four then three then get a decimal point then just add two so 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 5 is 0 0.00003 So I hope this video helped you and see you next time.